Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there are some who call me Felix Jones, mentalist. But Mr. Jones calls himself Felix Jones. <laughs> Mental ish. <laughs> and already, Mr. Jones knows what you are thinking. And you're correct, he does have fantastic hair. <laughs> so we will begin with the technique used by the high priest and priestesses of Isis and Osiris during the days of the pharaohs of Egypt. In this bag, the, the magician's favorite bag, Crown Royale. Yes, Mr. Jones has five marbles, one black eclipse, and four Venus moons. Now Mr. Jones will pass amongst you and stop at certain individuals. You will put your hand into the bag and you will pull out one and only one marble. You will also refrain from looking at it by keeping it closed tightly in your fist. You start us, darling. So for those of you who have a marble, kindly hold your fist up like so, so Mr. Jones can see you all. Now, you do not know what color you have, but your true psychic self will communicate to Mr. Jones which of you has the black eclipse by first revealing the four Venus moons. Now when Mr. Jones points at you, and only when he points at you, open your fist. Venus moon, show us. Venus moon, show us. Venus Moon, show us the last two. One of you is holding back. <laughs> let it go, let it go. <laughs> the strongest emanation, though, is you've got the black eclipse and you, the Venus Moon, show us. <laughs> yes, well, that's, yes, thank you. Well, that got your psychic juices going, didn't it? Yes. Got Mr. Jones a little tingly, too. <laughs> So for those of you who are unfamiliar with mentalicity, it is the dubious art of plunging into your mind to discover what makes each of you tick chock. But do you have any idea what makes Mr. Jones tick? <laughs> interested in the future because the future is where you will spend the rest of your lives. <laughs> so, for this demonstration, Mr. Jones will employ the assistance of a quasi-distant relative. We hope. Sometimes he doesn't participate. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Mr. Jones's French cousin, Alix. Then why do you speak with that outrageous accent? How many times must I tell you, je suis Québécois. Canadian. Shall we get on with it? 
So, Mr. Jones sent a sealed envelope to Elix by courier. Show the envelope, Elix. And, uh, Elix is dying to know what's inside, eh? Well, well, what's inside is a playing card on the reverse of which Mr. Jones has written a number, neither of which he knows. To, uh, to that one. I'll open it now, we? Eh? No, not yet. <laughs> not even a little bit. Not till Cousin Felix tells you. <laughs> so, so. Yes, it is. We'll put him on pause and come back in just a moment. So, <laughs> we have here the inevitable deck of playing cards. And, as you will see many times here at the Magic Castle, they are all rather randomly shuffled. But what Mr. Jones has also written is the on the back of each of these are the numbers 1 through 52 for every card in the deck. So, Lonnie, choose any number between 1 and 52. 7. Does that have special meaning for you? Not really. <laughs> it's a psychic, eh? <laughs> Mentalish. So, Lonnie, 7 you chose, and the back of it is the Eight of Hearts, if you hold that in your right hand, please. And now we'll flip the deck over, and rather than have Mr. Jones say, pick a card, any card, let's create one instead. So, sir, will it be a black card or a red card? A black. A black. Uh, sir, will it be a club or a spade? Club. Club. Sir, will it be a number, ace through ten, or jack, queen, king? Jack, king, queen. Which one? Jack. Jack. Jack of spades, is that where we were? Yes. Jack of spades. Jack of spades. Jack of spades. Jack of spades. There we are. And Mr. Jones has written the number 10 on the jack of spades. So, Lonnie, if you could hold that in your left hand. So, we have freely created. First, we've created the jack of spades on the back of which was a number 10. Lonnie chose the number 7, which proved to be the 8 of hearts. Let's now return to Cousin Elix. Hey, it's a lot of time, no? I don't know. <laughs> In yeah, English! Sacre bleu! <laughs> <laughs> the number that you choose is 10. Oh, no. And the oh. is the 8 of oh. us. Oh. Oh. Thank you! Yes. Yes. Well, we work together. We have one each other. Oh, enough of you. Au revoir, au revoir, au revoir. Oh, there's one in every family, isn't there, darling? Let's, let's reward Lonnie. Thank you. Free will. Free will is defined as the ability to choose at one's own discretion. But there are times when no matter how you choose, the outcome is in. <laughs> so, Mr. Jones does require another participant for this next demonstration. And you know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> self-levitate, self-levitate. Self-levitate, there you are. What's your name, birthday gent? Tony. Tony! So, Tony, for, uh, nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Uh, so, perhaps you were not aware, Tony and the rest of you, that in the average paperback novel, there are something like 200,000 words. So, Tony, you're going to take this work of fiction... <laughs> take this work of fiction in hand, Tony, and flip through it and assure yourself that it's an actual book. Yes, you may now all show the audience that there's nothing phony about it except, of course, it's authoress. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and now, Tony, choose any page that you like and rip it out. No one cares. <laughs> <laughs> Only in Orange County. <laughs> all right, Tony, so you're going to uh, put your free will to the test by making several choices. To begin, will you choose to keep this piece of paper or this piece? This one. <laughs> this piece or this piece? Th this one, yes? <laughs> this one or this one? Again, right. <laughs> You're going to really throw Jones off now, aren't you? <laughs> 
So, Tony, for your last decision, will you keep this piece or this piece? Ah, you uh, knew it. <laughs> you all knew that, right? right. Mr. Right. Jones had something happy yeah. that happened earlier, so put your, uh, put your finger on top. Finger, 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 that finger. There, there we are. <laughs> so, no doubt you've noticed this envelope of puzzlement that has been here since you came in or since Mr. Jones put it on the curtain. And inside there is a letter, and it is addressed to all of you. Bosom companions! <laughs> That's a bit over the top. Dear friends, Mr. Jones has brought before you the one person whose dormant psychic abilities were in desperate need of being woke. <laughs> Tony, you have just randomly selected one word out of 200,000. If we have actually made a psychic connection and the word you choose is months, months, then you will all cheer with approval, yours truly, Felix Jones. So Tony, would you not be surprised? If the word months was under your finger. Lift your finger. Do you see months there? No. <laughs> no. Tony, turn the piece of paper over. It's yes. <laughs> by the magic book. Ah, it's funny you should ask, Simone. <laughs> Mr. Jones gets asked that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> he was only eight years old, standing on the banks of Lake Sheboygan, Wisconsin. <laughs> the late afternoon sun shone gold on the water, and a mist rose. And from the mist, a voice called As you can imagine, he was terrified. And he ran home and hid under the bed, but then he just realized he'd heard his calling. So he gathered up all his Captain Crunch box tops, put them into an envelope, sent away for this. <laughs> Magic! Now, hold on, Mr. Jones knows what you're all thinking, and as you can plainly see, as it said in the comic book ad, original x-ray specs, see bones through skin, see through clothing, guaranteed. <laughs> but Mr. Jones senses your doubt. So, um, he needs to make believers of you. <laughs> you darling. Mm -hmm. Cookie Macintosh, would you to stand? <laughs> come, come self-levitate and join Mr. Jones. Cookie, darling. <laughs> Cookie Macintosh, everyone. So good to see you again, darling. How's that husband of yours? Gone, right? He's gone for now, hopefully. So, um, uh, Cookie, Mr. Jones has about 50 photographs of fellow celebrities, some of whom you've known, some you've long forgotten. So, Cookie. You will kindly cut wherever you like and put the other half into Mr. Jones's hand. That one. So we're only going to use one of these, so whichever one you choose is the one we'll use. This one. Share, no, not share. Oh, goodbye, share. All right, so Cookie, with these remaining celebrities, you're going to hover your finger over the cards and touch at one celebrity. This is your chance, darling, to touch a celebrity. That one there. Open up the palm of your hand. And now take a peek at that, but don't show anyone else. Mr. Jones will turn his back so he can't see. <laughs> All right, and now put them between your hands like this so Mr. Jones can't see a thing. So, Mr. Jones must admit that this works about 83% of the time. <laughs> Let's hope this is one of those times. Oh. Sir, that's very daring. <laughs> oh, Cookie, you have such beautiful bones. <laughs> but Mr. Jones can also see that you have a kind and generous heart. And he would like to capture this moment in time with an art form that he learned from his French-Canadian grandfather. 
Henri, Jean-Paul, Olivier, Vodpunka, Jones. <laughs> A little higher towards the light cooking. Everyone needs good light. All artists need good light. Oh, you're doing fantastic. This is going to be art. <laughs> so, Cookie, reveal to us now. What is your celebrity? A man? Don't you reveal that, didn't you? <laughs> so obviously, it's obviously a man or a woman. Is that star, stage, or screen? Whichever, they all know. So, <laughs> show who it is. Who is it? Who is it, darling? Simon Cowell. Oh. Simon wow. Cowell. <laughs> exactly who Mr. Jones saw through the x-ray specs. Oh, ye of little faith. So, Cookie, the next time that someone asks you to believe in magic, darling, believe, and that's for you. Let's reward Cookie. <laughs> So now I've handed some of you a pen. Now if you could please come up here and write a word. It means any word you like. A person, place, or thing, animal, mineral, vegetable, whatever it is. Come up here, please, I invite you all. Start writing some words. Make it a word explosion. Splatter them all over the thing. I just ask that you make them sort of at least least an inch tall and legible. For God's sake, make them Don't legible. Really Geraldine in the back. Oh, she's uh, a so intense. I wear her glasses to a party. She's just too big. Oh my, that is quite an explosion. Candle <laughs> soup. Just we'll take, take it out. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to now take a handful of those words. I'm going to take a handful. All right. So, while Simone is working, um, <laughs> did you hear about Mincy Bargrove? You did, darling. You know her husband, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Jones doesn't gossip, but he does listen. <laughs> Just like Thomas Jones. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready? That's enough, yes. Yes, all right. It's a good amount. All right, Jonesy. Uh, now I'm going to need you to focus, so maybe get somebody else to hold that for you. So would you, yes. Skippy? <laughs> Skippy! Hey, so what does Mr. It. Jones do? So Jonesy, I want you to circle any words that jump out at you, any you think that I might be thinking of. The bond beneath, between us is very strong. That's it. All right, let's see how we did. Thank you so much. Let's reward him. Thank you, Skippy. Well, if any of you doubted the strong bond I have with Jonesy, hopefully this will put those doubts to rest. Jonesy, if you could please read out every word that you circled one by one. Ping pong, snippy, drunk, uh, earring, manure, pin the tail. Is it too early to top off this cocktail? No. no. Jonesy, darling, it's never too early for a cocktail. True words couldn't be spoken stage star and close personal friend Florence Lancaster. But it would be rude to drink alone when all of you are so obviously parched. Well, Mr. Jones will rectify that. But first, he does require four persons who are not alcophobic. Who wants to have a drinky with Jonesy? Oh, so many. Uh, you, 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 and you. Self-levitate. Let's, let's encourage them. Come on down. We'll do a gentleman, lady, gentleman, lady. There we are. So, 
in this book, Cocktails the Jones Way, Mr. Jones has personally curated some 50 different and delicious cocktails. In this national bestseller, you would never find a Bloody Mary, a, a Black Russian, or even, God forbid, a Svengali. So each of you will take a book in hand and pass them on down to the line. And now hold the book into the palm of your hand like so. And now you're going to riffle the pages. Mr. Jones will demonstrate like so. You'll riffle the pages like this and stop at any page. But once you've stopped there, keep your thumb and open it to that cocktail. All right? Mr. Jones will turn his back while you do that. Have you all selected a cocktail? Yeah. Yes. And now sometimes the audience, because these books are all the same, Random cocktails can be chosen and they match up. So let's all show the audience your cocktails. Are they all different? Yes. yes, all right. If you would all close the books, pass them down. And now, if you would kindly uh, hold out your dominant hand as if you're about to receive a martini. No, not you, darling. This is not a full bar in there. There you are. There you go. Oh, perfect. We have one for you. Hold it by the neck. By the neck for you. And down here for you. Oh, so, so, so delicate with that. And hold your cocktail out. Now, when Mr. Jones snaps his fingers, the four of you will send a mental image of the cocktail that you saw in the book. And audience, if you remember any of those cocktails that they showed you, you will also send a mental image, right? Now, uh, did you feel that? Oh, Lord, Mr. Jones certainly did. As a matter of fact, it's, there's so many colors that you're sending at the moment. Keep sending them. Keep doing it. Yes, more, more. Send it. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. So now let's uh, focus. Focus on your cocktail. So yours, you wouldn't be related to Donald Trump, would you? Long lost relative, perhaps? No, because your color is orange. Put your pinky out. Take a step over here. And you, darling, oh, you're a dreamer, aren't you? You're a dreamer. You think big. You go beyond the moon, behind the rain. Your name is Dorothy, isn't it? No. Well, it ought to be because your color is emerald city green. Pinky out. Take a step over here. And your, oh, oh, Mr. Jones is getting a real vibe off of you. Something uh, bold, masculine, and decidedly flamingo. And yours, oh, darling, you like kicking them back now and then, don't you? Oh, you've got a real technicolor peacock blue. Take a step over here. And now for the cocktails themselves, if all of you would focus on the flavor of the cocktail, really run the bouquet around in your mouth. Let's start with you. Hmm. Yours seems, there's rum, there's um, pineapple, coconut. <laughs> something blue, something a pirate might drink on a tropical island with blue curacao. Take a step over here, and yours, oh, again, that halo of fruitiness coming off of you. And but just, there's, a, there's citrus, citrus, uh, no doubt a cosmopolitan. And yours, oh, nasty girl, <laughs> absent for this one. Uh, oh, no, it's not. No, it's mint, creme de mint. And finally, yours, yours. Mr. Jones has no idea what yours is. I'm, Ugh, orange crush? Ugh, ugh, that's gross. All right, take a step over here. And now, if you would all kindly take a little sip of your cocktail. And is yours a blue Hawaiian? And is yours a cosmopolitan? And yours, dirty girl, creme de menthe, yes! And finally, yours. Oh, what the? Ah, Mr. Jones knows what's missing with you. Creamsicle, yes? So, darlings, on the count of four, one, two, three, four, bottoms up.
It was really cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those things you learn in Quebec. Uh, so, so, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Mr. Jones is presenting with just a few examples of mental -ishity. and as you self-levitate and move around the castle tonight, do know that the source of Mr. Jones's powers is not Mr. Jones. The source is indeed all of you. Thank you. My heart is There'll be another great magician here in just a few minutes. Thank you so much.